find the amount paid for a computer that has a March price of $2,500. I'm going to write that down. $2,500. If a 5% discount is allowed for paying cash, they're doing this, right? If you agree to pay cash, we'll give you a bit of a discount, right? 5% discount. Okay, now you will notice like this pay less pay cash business it tends to happen for things like this Computers that are hundreds and thousands of dollars, right? Um, that's why you know the kinds of things these guys sell are all sort of in the hundreds of dollars usually, right? Uh, this is not practically gonna happen for these little things because it's kind of like well The difference is kind of small, right? Whereas for here it can be more substantial, right? So you'll see this scenario all the time some price, some agreed upon discount. Sometimes the discount is not um, a percentage. What alternative might you get? Uh, it might just be a cashback. Like, I'll just give you 50 bucks cash back. This is, um, this is just as an example. In fact, you'll see ads that say this all the time. Okay, so it'll either be a flat amount or it'll be some kind of percentage. Okay, you need to pay attention to the question and have a think about what they're asking. Let's read, find the amount paid. The amount paid, okay, so after the discount gets applied, right? How should we approach this? There's two different ways to do it, okay? And I'll show you both and I'll let you decide which one you prefer. They're both equal. You can work out what the discount is, right? It's 5%. What's 5% as a decimal? Zero. It's, it's 0 0.05, isn't it? <laughs> 0.05. So to work out how much the discount is, right? I should have said discount. Is it over 100? Uh, well, this is 5 over 100. Right? That's if you've checked out your calculator, that'll so give you, you 0.05. Have, do you have to do it? Um, well, I want to work out as a proportion of the original price. Oh, that's right. So that's Excuse me. So yeah, you can see when you um you can do it mentally or you can check it on your calculator, you should get $125 as the discount. Okay? So that's how much you were supposed to pay. This is how much off, right? So amount paid is equal to the total, the original, minus the discount. That's all. Simple. Okay. So when you subtract it, I think you end up with two, three, seven, five. Should chuck dollars on it. Okay. So there's approach one. Um, you work out what the discount is, and then you subtract it from the original amount. Okay. Um, there's a quicker way. It's a little bit more mentally tricky, but I'll let you decide which one you like. Okay. Instead of working out the discount and then this amount paid separately, I can just go straight to this amount paid. I'll show you how. Okay, so this is my second method. I can say that, well, if you took off 5%, how much is left over as a percentage? 95. It's 95% is what you're actually paying, right? So I can say 0.95 of the whole amount. That's the 95%. That's how much you pay, right? It's not the discount, it's what's left after the discount. That you can chuck in your calculator, and if we've done our numbers right, you'll get back 2375, just like you did before. So, which method do you prefer? The second method's shorter. Second method's shorter. But, you've got to work out this number, right? You've got to do that. So this, this is a bit longer, but at least it's kind of a bit, maybe you might find it clearer, okay? Yeah. What if you just do something you can do in your hand, it's like, um, 500 divided by 100 and then times 5. That's this. Yeah. That's that's this exact line. Oh. Okay. Regardless though, I mean you gotta remember, right? And I keep on banging on this drum, I know you get sick of it, but you cannot just do them in your head. You must show, right? It's gonna be it'll be two marks for this question, right? And if you if you just write down that, you'll get one, because it's right. But you won't get two because you haven't shown where you where you got it from. Right? You haven't shown that you didn't copy it from the person next to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? Okay. Now I just want you to quickly cast your eyes down the page for me. Um, have a look at some of the different kinds of questions that they ask you. Okay, have a look. Um, let's go down to uh, a little further. Let's, sorry, a little further back. Let's look at five. Look at five with me. Plasma screen television, marked price of, um, maybe I'll just jot this down, 4490 Okay. The television is discounted to 4300 That's not bad. Yeah. So you can see the discount that's happened, right? How much has been chopped off? $190, good. But then the question asks something very different to this, right? It says, find the percentage discount given. 
So they want us to answer this. You see, they're asking a different kind of thing. Same scenario, right? How would you work it out? How do I work it out? Okay, I'm going to do it exactly in, the, in reverse, right? So you guys just told me the discount, right, is um, $190. So how do I work out this as a percentage of, it says percentage of the original, right? Um, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to take this 190 right? So here's the discount, the percentage discount. Is you take that 190 and you're going to divide by something. What are you going to divide by? Uh, 4,490. It'll be the original amount. Like so. Okay. Now let's actually get our calculators out and do that. Because we'll get a decimal. And I think they want it to one decimal place. Which is 0 0.04. So yep. Okay. So I've got 0.0423 blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now read carefully. They say... Find the percentage discount correct to one decimal place. This is not a percentage. It's a decimal, right? So how do I how do I make it a percentage? I multiply by a hundred. Okay, so this is going to become four point two three blah 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 percent. Okay, you see what the difference is between these two lines? I multiply by a hundred to move the decimal point, but you whack the percentage sign on. How many decimal points do they want? One. Just the one. And whenever you approximate, you should say what level you approximate, what level of accuracy you approximate to. Okay. So you can see it was the same situation, right? There was some discount that happened, but they gave you slightly different information, and so they asked you a slightly different question. Okay.